Hi, this is Team 667998. We are going to introduce the intake design of our robot to you. As you can see, the acrylic board at the top of the gears and roller chain helps to broaden the gap between the layers of the goals, which allows our robot to collect the balls more efficiently. Another cool design of the intake is the addition of a guide wheel. It functions as a tool to help our robot realign by ramming against the wall. As for the ball launcher, we inserted two pillars on it because they help align the direction of ball shooting, which increases the consistency of making the goals. We also added a pair of claws at the front of the robot because they help to orient the exact direction to shoot the balls by clutching on the two pillars and the goals. For our program, we use a lot of functions. Move is one of those that we use. It can let our robot move to a precise position by calculating the average degree of the four motors. So for the first number, we insert the degrees that we want our robot to move. And the second number is the power that we want from the left side of the chassis. And the third number is the power we want for the right side of the chassis. And the last number is the brake like sometimes we want the robot to slide a bit and sometimes we want the robot just to break immediately which we can control it from the last number the second function that we use is the time function which sometimes for the degrees although it can move to a precise position a robot might be stuck uh, by the towers or by the wall because uh, when the motor didn't move to the certain degree, uh, our robot will stop there forever until the motor turns to a right position. So we use time to, to avoid this problem. So the first number is also the time, and the second number is also the left motor power. And the third number is the power from the right motor. The fourth power is also the brake, uh, which sometimes one is a slide, sometimes we don't. Intake is the third function that we use. It is to control the intake because every time that we want to turn the intake, we have to write two lines and two lines for the brakes. But for the function, we only need to write one line and another line for brake. This can show turn our program by a lot and can make our program more organized. From the fourth tower to a fifth tower, we align against the wall because by this move, we can rearrange the position of our robot and can let the program become much more stable. We also do this of the 8th tower to the last tower because we want the last tower to be precise. Last tower can improve our score by a lot. You may also find out that we move aligned the wall most of the time because we think that wall can make our robot move straight and it's better than a robot moving freely in the middle of the field.